Sending email newsletters from within your website is a super easy and super practical and effective way of staying in touch with your existing customers. So on today's episode of Tactical Tuesday, let's have a look at how to do that. G'day everyone, I'm Jason Foss. Normally on this, this channel we deal with more strategic things, but every now and then you do have to jump in and get your hands dirty. That's where the rubber meets the road. So I've introduced this new uh, series called Tactical Tuesday, where we'll actually step through how to do some stuff. Now our first episode is going to be sending an email newsletter uh, from within your WordPress based website using a plugin called MailPoet. Now if you think of MailPoet as a bit like MailChimp, but instead of being a separate service that you subscribe to, it's uh, a plugin built into your existing website, so it can automatically uh, pull content from your website in terms of blog posts or events or products or other bits and pieces there. Uh, they have a free tier the same way as MailChimp does, and then once you, you uh, exceed that, they've then got a plans, same way as MailChimp does, but it makes building a, an email really easy because you don't have to copy and paste things from within your website to somewhere else and set up the links and everything. It just, it just handles it all. Uh, there'll be a link in the description down below for a bit more detail, uh, but let's get started and have a look at it. All right, so the example I've got on the screen at the moment is uh, the setup for uh, local chamber of commerce. Uh, I'll look after their email newsletter. So in this example too, uh, this is installed and configured and we already have subscribers in the database. Um, I'll do a setup video, I think, as a separate video. In this one, this is assuming that it's already actually installed and ready to go. Uh, this is just how to send an email in this one. So uh, given the fact that there's already emails in there, rather than clicking up here and creating a brand new one uh, where you can choose some templates and go on and go forth, again, I'll deal with that in the other video. What I would tend to do here to keep things simple is just duplicate the last one. So as we hover over these previous emails, I can duplicate that. And I've got a copy of that, uh, which is not sent yet. So let's jump in and have a look at that one. All right, so once that screen loads, the first thing we want to have a look at here is changing the subject line, because this is obviously going to say copy off whatever your last email was. So what am I going to change that to? All right, so as we scroll down here now in the body of the email, you can see as I hover over these certain elements, I've got a rubbish bin to delete it, I can duplicate it, I can move it around. In some instances, I've got settings, so I can click that and control some of the settings for these individual sections. Uh, so as you hover over, you'll see you've got that sort of control. Now, what I'll do is I'll, uh, first thing I'll do is I'll come down and I'll just delete these bits and pieces that I don't want from the last email. Okay, so our up next is empty. Now, this is where the magic of, of MailPoet kicks in. Instead of having to, to rewrite and upload and set up links and everything, if I was using an external mail provider, I can just drag from these panels here over into the section I want. And I can either choose events or media, which is the uploads, images, that sort of thing, pages, posts, uh, to automatically include. If I had WooCommerce installed installed in here, it would also include products. So it's pretty easy if you want to include some featured products in your email, you just choose that and drag them and drop them over. So I'm going to stick with events and I need to put in, let's get that out of the way. So one, two, three are the ones I want to include. And we can see it starts to fill these out for us. Um, and it's pulled over the headline, the featured image, uh, the intro text, the register now button is automatically linking off to that event on the website. So it just makes it really, really easy. Now, down here under display options, I can control the way these things are laid out a bit. Um, let's maybe put the featured image centered. Yeah, that's possibly not a bad idea. I can uh, change the way the button's designed and so on and so forth. And if I'm happy with the way that's laid out, I can hit Insert Selected, uh, and there they all are, done and ready to go. Now, what I did there was I dragged the posts over and dropped it in and then selected some specific posts. But this next one here, this latest news section, you see how it just kind of uh, whites out there or it goes, goes quite opaque uh, when I hover over it? So if I click that, 
what this one is here, I'll just get out of that, that's this automatic latest content one. So if I drag that over, I'll end up with something like this. And it will just show a certain number of posts, events, media, you know, recent, recently updated things. Let's change that to three rather than five. I'll trim it down a little bit. And while that's refreshing, I can do the same thing here. Display options. I'm going to uh, featured image. I'm going to center the featured images in here as well. There we go. So one, two, three posts with automatic buttons to read more. That's it. I'm pretty much done. Featured images come over. Headlines have come over. Um, the introductory part of the text has come over. The links are all working to, you know, they're all automatically generating links to the right posts. They're tagged with uh, Google Analytics tracking codes, so we know, you know, what clicks, how much interest this email generates. And if I come into here now, for example, if I wanted to fix some typing, I can, or change some details, I can certainly do it, but I haven't had to retype all of this from scratch. So if I look at that, I've got uh, three recent news posts up there. I've got the three upcoming events. Um, okay, that's pretty good. Now at this point in time, I can change some styles if I want, uh, but that's already been set up. If I go preview, that will give me a preview on mobile, which is really important. Uh, whether you're in business to business or business to consumer, a lot of these emails are going to get opened on phones. So make sure um, it works, not just works, but you know it, it looks decent on a, on a phone. Or you can pop your email address in here and set, hit send preview and it will email you a preview as well. So you can open it yourself on, on your laptop and your phone and a couple of different devices and, and test it out. So I'm going to close that now and I'm going to go next. So let's just check that for typos. That looks okay. Uh, you can list here what um, subscriber list you can send it to, the from name, the from address, the reply to if they're gonna be different. What's the date today? The 17th of February. So I'm just gonna change that to 17 so I can, I can track those clicks in Google Analytics separately if I want to. Now, if I hit send now, that will send. Uh, or if I hit schedule it, then I've got a date and time uh, pickers there to schedule this thing in advance. So I, uh, I'm gonna have a bit of a proofread of this. So I'm actually just gonna schedule this for tomorrow at 10 a.m. at this point in time, which means I probably should change that to the 18th of February, just so I know what's going on. And if I hit schedule, there we go. That's now sitting in a queue, waiting to be sent tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Uh, and if I do nothing else, that'll just happen. Don't have to do anything else beyond that. Um, I'm obviously going to jump back in here and uh, just tidy up that and check some things. Um, but just to demonstrate how easy MailPoet is to use. Now, the setup is not complicated either, as it'll probably deal with that in a separate video. But for today, if you're inheriting this from somebody else or somebody else has already set this up for you, the process of sending a newsletter every day, week, month, quarter, whatever your cycle is, it's there's no reason not to it's a really simple process i think that is all we will cover for today uh, there's a like button down below if this was useful subscribe button probably over there a couple of other suggested videos over here maybe thanks for your support and i'll see you in the next one